Hug Low again. I'm back with another case video for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. This is another case from LeBeagle. And again, LeBeagle cases come in these generic boxes. This one in particular is a request from a subscriber, uh, Blakar3270. So shout out to Blakar3270. Um, and the question was, is there a case that has the S pin on the hinge, hinge protection, and MagSafe? And so I found one. And of all the ones I did find, there are a few. I actually felt like LeBeagle, based on my previous reviews of their products, which has been pretty solid so far, I figured I'd go with this one. So this is LeBeagle. And again, the, the names are what they are, right? Compatible with Samsung Z Fold 5 case. Support all MagSafe accessories, leather back. Include both removable old and slim S Pen holder on hinge, magnetic cover, 5G carbon fiber. So I got the carbon fiber one, and you can pick this up for 30, let's see, which one is it? $35.99. I think depending on the color, the price might change. So like, yeah, see the blue one there is 39. So they seem to range from 35 to about 39. Uh, that's for the Z Fold 5. They have them for other Z Folds as well, but just so you know. So Z Fold 5 there. I got the carbon fiber one just honestly because it was the cheapest one. I did get it on a one-day uh, delivery. So let's see what kind of luck we got with this one because I've been getting a lot of used cases lately passing off as new um, from Amazon. And so here we go. Let's see. Let's open the box. Okay. Okay, so it has the extra S Pen holder. This might, looks like the small one. That looks pretty small. Okay, so it has probably a big one and a small one. Okay, so it's already open, so I think I probably got a used one again. And I sure did, because there are fingerprints all over this screen, this, and the stickies are on. So, yeah, this is very used. Um, thanks, Amazon, for selling me something used for at a new price, as per usual. Okay, so um, it's very similar to the LeBeagle case that I have in terms of texture. Actually, it looks like the Behebe cases as well. So again, I think the manufacturers are kind of the same for a few of these. This looks a lot like the Vahibi cases on the inside um, and the LeBeagle. Here's the carbon fiber portion. It's, I'd say pretty low grade <laughs> carbon fiber, but it does the trick. Okay, so I have the old S Pen, so I'm gonna pop that in and see if this fits. So that fits, yeah, that's the one right there. So it does fit, there's the S Pen. And so, okay, so now let's check it out. Put it on the Fold 5 itself and see what we come up with. <clears throat> okay, fits pretty well. S Pen's in there. Okay, pretty solid. It does have the built-in screen protector. Not a big fan of those, but if that's okay with you, that's fine. Okay, snap that into place here. Boy, this is a little, okay, there we go. Okay, it does, it's very thick and very bulky. Um, not as bulky as some. It's not like a subcase bulky, but it's bulky nonetheless. Now, again, when you have the hinge protection, you know, this the thing that you get to do is carry around, I mean, the, excuse me, the S Pen holder, you get to carry around the S Pen in the hinge, but try laying it flat and doing taking notes on it, that's not really gonna work, right? So, you know, what I was having to do was take off the back cover just to use the pen. So I would have to remove this. Now I can kind of lay it flat if I can get it open. I noticed the fold is hard to open without a case. That's the other challenge here. <laughs> so I'm gonna open it up. Okay, and now I can write almost, right? I mean, you can write with this. This is flat enough to write. So now I'm okay, I'm okay to write. So, you know, you're kind of giving something up. Um, boy, I don't know what that was. Or, uh, so you're kind of giving something up a little bit when you get these cases. You know, there's just no perfect solution. That's why in my video, my three month review of the Z Fold 5, I just felt like you have to snap that S Pen in the, in the, uh, in the case somehow. It's got to do it like the Z, like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. That does fit in there nicely, I will say. Um, 
yeah, it's just really bulky. But now, you know, you have this big bulky case. So now let's get to the uh, MagSafe portion of the show. I have the pop socket MagSafe on the new one. And there it goes. Okay, so now it's snapped into place pretty nicely. Okay, so that's pretty strong. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Yeah, that's 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 solid enough. Okay, so let's open it up here. Okay, so okay, so here's the problem. And this is I had an issue with the like the uh, there was a strap case that I reviewed um, that was similar to the one they had for the Z Fold Four that was the OEM from Samsung. Now, that's fine if you don't have hinge protection. You can hold it. But see right here, I'm trying to fold it open and like my finger is getting stuck between like the hinge S pen. If it was just the hinge, I think it would be okay. But with the S pen, it's like kind of awkward to hold. Like my my finger here is getting like jammed in between the pop socket and the pen. So if you're going to use it for this purpose, then maybe not. Um, it does hold well, but I almost feel like if I'm going to use like a pop socket to kind of hold on to it, then I probably want something that either does not have hinge protection or maybe just the hinge protection itself. Now, I think I could take this off. Let me go ahead and do that. I can take this off and I'll show you how it feels. I'll kind of see how it feels with this off just to kind of get a feel for it. Okay, yeah, there it goes. So take that. Okay, now let's open it up. See, that's not as bad. See, that doesn't feel as bad. Like I can manage that. Okay, so if you get a MagSafe with just hinge protection and no S Pen in the hinge protection portion, then I think it's doable in terms of just, hey, I can hold this and you know, kind of use it as such. But to have the pen there, it's not going to work. I don't think so. I mean, unless you have like maybe thinner fingers, I you know, I don't know, piano fingers. I'm not really sure. Piano player fingers. Yeah, maybe not. Now, if this was smooth, this would be smoothed out usually. I could see that with the pop socket and, you know, having it or just not having hinge protection because you can hold here anyway. You get a good enough grip. But anyhow, okay, well, that's still a Beagle. I don't know what that is there. That's still a Beagle uh, case there um, with MagSafe, hinge protection, and the S Pen holder in the hinge. And again, you can get it on Amazon for $35.99 or higher, depending on the color. Now, what I recommend it in terms of quality, in terms of you know, the case itself is fine. I don't really have an issue with the case. It's just that when you, once you get that pop socket on there or whatever you're going to use, if that's what you're going to use, if you're going to put a wallet back here, okay, fine. But if you're going to try to hold it like this with the S Pen, it's going to jam your finger up a little bit and it may not be very comfortable. Now, if you're going to use it without this, then it's fine. But what's the point? Because you want to carry the S Pen. So I would say don't get the MagSafe unless you're going to just put like a wallet back here or something or you want a battery pack something like that, don't get the MagSafe for like a MagSafe pop socket. But it might work. But And just know that if you do add this, it's going to be really bulky. So I ended up not really liking, as convenient as it was to hold the S Pen in the hinge, it's not the best place for it because it just makes it so bulky. And then when you need to write, when you flatten it open, it's not going to be flat. It's going to be like rocking like a seesaw, basically. So I'm not really into seesaw cases. So I'll just have to pass on that one. But anyhow, all right, well, that's all for this case. Um, hope you're well. Hope your family's well. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.